everybody, it's Jojo Kwan Plans. I'm here with another plan with me in my Hobonichi from the 1st of June to the 7th of June. This is the second part of the Panda Kit that I used last week from Ashley and Lars. And if you need a referral code, I do have a $2 off and you can get it offline online and you can get it printed. So there are some stickers that I put in. These are the boxes from Paper K Designs. It's really, really cute. As well as this washi cut sampler from Aesthetic Shop. And you can get any samplers of washi you like. I'm using the covers from my spoiled planner as well as the florals that I used last week. The pen that I'll be using this week will be Pilot Juice Up Pen in 0.4. First up, I would like to apologize for the really noisy background currently because it's raining as well as it's in the evening so the roads are getting busy and yep, I have to get this voice over done before I prepare for my spread for my recollections tomorrow which is Sunday. So you can see that I'm lining up these florals that I used last week and this week I'm more... Um, excited to use it because I plan to line up the whole site and yep it turned out pretty messy but it was okay so I'm gonna catch you up later while you just see how I set up the rest of the base and have fun <laughs> So I spent a good 30 to 40 minutes to put down this floral border and it's really really gorgeous. I'm in love with it and I put down this floral wreath that says as pretty as can be to remind me how beautiful things can happen. I'm really happy that the first week of internship has passed and it went by really quickly and it was pretty good. I learned quite a few things and yep it was good. I put down a habit tracker followed by the weekend banner as well as the work section. But I usually leave this part of the Hobonichi blank because I have most of my plans in my daily planner as well as my recollection spread that has almost what happened every day. Then I'm layering on some washi from the washi card from Aesthetic Shop and then putting on this black and white floral and a really cute Hey Sunshine note to give a really good mark out on this spread. So to start off Monday, I'm really happy to introduce you a new shop which is Sakura Mochi Design Co and she hand doodles all the mochi that she has in her shop. As you can see that mochi that I'm using currently which is the one with the pen as well as the one watching television, those are her hand drawn doodles that she does much more effortly than a lot of shops because she doesn't own an iPad nor a tablet so she hands draw them before she transfers it to Photoshop. So do check out her shop to support her and she's a newly opened shop and I'm very happy to introduce Mina to you. She's a really really nice girl and she has perfect designs. So you can get a $5 off code in my description below below sorry my <laughs> my description below and you can get the $5 off. It's a referral code by the way. Then I used a Giving Girl arrow to mark that I was YouTube binging on Monday and then on Tuesday using a Craftrina printable which is the bear with the Superwoman suit to mark that 
um, I had to collate my PR credits and it was fun because my girls really put in so much effort and I'm so happy with all their love and kindness to me. Then it was Blackout Tuesday but on that day I managed to get back my results for the first part of my final year project and it was really really good and I'm happy with it. Moving on to Wednesday, I started the morning with um, packing orders again and that is Mochi from Sakura Mochi Design Co again and I started a new Korean, I mean a Chinese drama and it was really really good. I'm happy because yep it's a pretty nice show but it only releases an episode of 70 minutes every Saturday. So the whole day was pretty lazy for me since most of the submissions were done and I just YouTube binge the whole day. And on Thursday, this day actually looked pretty messy and I kind of regretted on how I wrote that and smudged my finger while pasting. I mean smudged the lettering while pasting that sticker on. But yep, I did most of the things for the shop and ended the day by shopping at Giving Go. It's really pretty. I got some scripts and her $2 Tuesdays were really, really pretty and cute. Moving on to Friday, I started the morning with my Korean drama binge and it's a really nice show currently. I'm watching Oh My Baby which is an interesting show to depict how badly a woman wants to get pregnant. Yep, she wants to be a mum. And throughout the day, I had some meeting for my uh, internship and I felt sick in the evening because it was a hassle to, to get my workstation set up at home. And on Saturday, um, using this really cute paper shire um, Polaroid um, sticker to mark that I had planned with me to do. And it was with the kit that I put together from all her freebies together with Craftylicious freebie. And in the night, I'm using this really cute social distancing call, um, the old way of um, communication because my friend sent me really nice brownies and yep so happy that it tastes really really good and on sunday i packed orders in the morning that sticker is from craft trina and then i did um rare collections plan with me and i did some splurging i did some shopping and most of the days were just watching youtube and it was really really good and i then added on a bow because i had nothing else to put there and that bow is from clover prince Co. Moving on to the right side of the Hobonichi, I'm just laying down the highlights of each day and as usual I'm using these really cute stickers that is from a shop that is already closed and yep, that's pretty much my week. Um, thank you all for being here with me, sorry for the background, sorry for the really long chatty voiceover, I'm practically losing voice, cracking and yep, because I had loads of lychee and it's really really good. So check you out tomorrow when my recollection spread is out. Meanwhile, stay safe and I'm happy that y'all are here with me. Goodbye!